What's up guys, welcome to another episode of A Reseller's Life. My name is Chris, thank you so much for joining me. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how I have achieved financial independence via reselling. I'm gonna call this hashtag reseller FI. So when I first started studying financial independence in this FIRE community, most of the people who achieve financial independence have very high incomes and very high savings rates. An example would be, if you wanna retire in 10 years or less, just save $1,500 a week and earn 6% in the market over the course of 10 years, you are now a millionaire. Now the issue is, most people are not saving $1,500 a week. They're not even earning $1,500 a week. How can they actually do that? So I have a more practical approach to, to achieving this and I'm gonna share with you guys today. So a million dollars saved at the 4% savings rule means you have $40,000 a year that you can spend and, and ideally not lose your nest egg. Hopefully you can earn more than 4%, but with inflation, you're supposed to live on this $40,000 a year forever. Um, one, that's not super exciting, but it's totally possible if you're frugal and let's say your, your mortgage is already paid off, but that's a separate topic. I wanna recreate this $40,000 income reselling so that you can achieve this earlier. Um, sort of a analogy is the barista FI concept where maybe you want a little of extra money when you're retired and most people don't stop working anyway. So what if you just work at Starbucks part-time, get the health benefits and you just sort of have a stress-free retirement. You're, or you can work on projects that you like, maybe do passion projects that don't pay very much like starting your own pottery company. That may not be super lucrative, but if you're into it, you want to be able to offset that by having a nest egg. So that being said, let's get straight into it. For me, I think it's relatively conservative that you can double your money reselling um, in the course of a year. So meaning if you have $10,000 worth of goods and you're buying it and selling it for $30,000, hopefully your expenses are less than $10,000, you turn the 10,000 into 20 and you, you basically double your money, right? I think you can do that one time per year pretty easily if you are busier and you can't find items that double your money that's okay maybe you find more popular items that you only earn a third of your money but they sell faster so if you earn a third on your money meaning you, you make 33 bucks every hundred dollars you invest and you do that three times a year on items that sell faster it's the same thing you've you've essentially doubled your money per year so in order to do this concept of replicating the $40,000 that you would earn from a million dollars saved, you need to spend $40,000 on goods over the course of a year and double your money one time. And that's essentially my concept of hashtag reseller FI or reseller financial independence. And this is something that I'm personally doing right now and it has given me incredible joy. So I wanna share this with you guys because the way that I look at it is, you know, most of us are looking for a pastime that also earns money. Reselling is insanely popular. It's also accessible for most people. You can spend $40,000 from the comfort of your bed on your phone if you have a specific niche. Now, I want to explain a few things here that are really, really important. So the first one is there's not really that many creative things that people are doing on eBay. There's really about 20 categories that most people make their money in. So I advise you to just get good at one to three of these categories and you will most likely be okay. Just like where I live in Silicon Valley, 20 companies make most of the money. All of the millionaires that live here really are not entrepreneurs. They just work for one of these 20 companies and they're riding the coattails of something that's already very popular. So I'm gonna get straight into it. These categories are electronics, books and media, video games, home goods, necessities like chapstick, clothing, Half of all online sales are clothing, okay? So it might be small margin and it might be slow selling, but it sells a lot. Half of all sales are clothing sales, so you can get into it. There's still time, it's not oversaturated. Shoes, specifically Nike, does very well. Vintage, collectibles, rare items, stuff that's related to celebrities. Nostalgia, Americana, coins, currency, bikes, memorabilia, musical instruments, cell phones, laptops, stuff for kids, stuff for babies, stuff for weddings, special event stuff. That's pretty much it. That's most of the categories that people make money on, on eBay, Amazon, Mercari, Etsy, whatever. It's mostly those categories that I just mentioned. I also have all this stuff in the description below if you want to just read through this article. All you have to do is become world-class 
at one to three of these categories, actually just one, and you will be set. You'll be able to earn that $40,000 a year that you would earn passively through having some investments. Okay, now, Chris, how can I do this faster? Faster, faster, faster. That's like the email I get every single day. Okay, there's only three ways to do this faster. The first one is better judgment. And what this means is, you're picking better categories to sell faster and for more profit, and there's only two ways to achieve that. One, you need more exposure to more categories, so you have a better idea of what's selling well in different categories, and you can utilize that knowledge. Second, is you can get more expert in, in one of these categories. You can spend more time and more focus on one category and get super good at it. This is the concept of being a mile deep versus a mile wide. But you actually need both. You need a little bit of an idea of what's going on and you need to focus on one category. Both Bill Gates and Warren Buffett said that the reason they are so rich is because of focus. Uh, most people want a get rich quick thing, but that's not really how it works. Just focus on one to three categories, get really good at them, and you'll be fine. Okay, the second is leverage. Okay, so the leverage is key and leverage either comes in two forms. It either comes in money, so you pour more money on the fire, buy more widgets, or two, you have people, and people are going to help you do more of the same thing and achieve your goal. Now that being said, most resellers and most entrepreneurs are horrible managers. That's why so many resellers are solo, right? Most resellers just do it on their own, not necessarily because they wanna do it on their own, but they have trouble finding good people, and if you always have problems finding good people, then the problem is you, unfortunately. You are not a good manager. I personally, don't have problems finding people working for me. That doesn't mean it's easy. I still have to go through a lot of people to find the right person, but I don't have any issue figuring out what that person wants and, and meshing it so it's a win-win situation with what I want. Most people are so focused on what they want, they don't know how to manage this other person, and that person ends up leaving and it, and it doesn't work. Now, that's okay. If you don't wanna work with people, you don't have to. You can just work on spending more money and having more money listed with less items. And the next key is, this is probably the magical one that most people sort of forget about, which is the lower cost of replication. This is huge, okay? Meaning, you wanna sell the same item. This is gonna save you a ton of time, a ton of money, ton of experience, less time hiring people. Imagine you just having one item that sells hundreds of times a day. That would make your life a lot easier if you owned one out of every 12 cans, like Warren Buffett does, of Coca-Cola, you'd probably be the richest man in the world, right? That's insane. He owns literally the stock equivalent of one out of every 12 cans of Coke. The lower cost of replication is massive. As you start reselling, you have to learn how to sell things that are almost the same or the exact same if you wanna get rich faster. Okay, we're gonna go into some more um, tweaks that are going to help you achieve your goals faster. Let's start with putting your reseller profits into wealth. As I have grown in reselling, I put my money into rentals, I put some money into real estate, I put some money into learning different categories that are um, handmade. So for example, a pocket knife word that I can engrave, all I need to do is buy the blanks. And, and it's just gonna keep selling to different types of people, but I'm not changing my product. I already have a laser engraving machine and the blanks that, that basically print on this pocket knife, right? This is an awesome concept for me that I'm investing in because you can't get rich trading your time for money. You have to earn equity in something in order to, to scale. And this is why everyone has like an uncle or an aunt or a friend that wants to invest in your reselling business, but they don't wanna work in your reselling business. That makes sense to me because they have a little bit of extra money they want to invest and have that money working for them. That is really key. So you need to put the money into stuff that makes you money while you sleep, like reselling. I think reselling is a form of this because your store is open 24 seven. Even while you sleep, you're earning money. Reselling is awesome. But once you get those reseller profits, put it somewhere else. Just a quick aside, this is not part of it. I have such a tremendous joy right now, living really, really below my means. I can't. I wish I could give this to everybody because there's no stress for me because I don't have any expensive stuff I have to pay for. And it's just very easy for me to not buy expensive stuff right now because I don't wanna deal with maintaining it. I don't wanna deal with caring for it. I don't wanna worry about somebody stealing it. Just having simple, practical stuff and living way below my, my means 
has given me a, a tremendous amount of time freedom, which is really what I think people are looking for. You can have all the money in the world, but no time, and it's not really worth it. Okay, next is arm yourself with specific knowledge, accountability, and leverage. I personally believe that growth is mainly achieved through accountability and community. Okay, so you wanna surround yourself with the best people. I personally have a mastermind group, this is a plug. You can go to patreon.com and you can either look at my mastermind group, which you can join. We have 50 like-minded people that we go over the same topics every single week to make sure that we're improving, or you can get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me now. Now, I know exactly how to help you get to the next level. Um, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching now. If it doesn't work, I'll give you your money back. But honestly, I know how to make this work. It's just refinement. It's just less but better. You like 10 different things, let's get it down to one thing that you really like. You like five different categories, let's narrow it down to three different categories. That increased focus will help you earn more money per, th per widget and you'll be able to reach your goal. This isn't rocket science. It takes a lot less time to just start listing than try to research online how to list. Just do it and then improve it over time. Okay, next is, oh, if you wanna go to that, it's at patreon.com slash daily refinement. That's where all of my goods are um, and services. And also, uh, if you wanted to support the channel, you can go on there and do that as well. Okay, next is, you wanna pick a niche where you can do long-term relationships. This is why I have no issue with people thrifting for a living. Because Goodwill and Salvation Army, these are these stores, secondhand shops, are going to be around forever. Liquidation, that, that concept is going to exist forever. As long as there are brick and mortar stores, as long as there's Amazon, there's going to be return pallets that you can buy and resell on platforms like eBay or even back on Amazon. So I am extremely comfortable with reselling in the future. This is an industry that's gonna be around forever. There are always people who die and need to have their estates liquidated. There are always people moving. There's always garage sales. There's always business liquidation and companies that are dying. All their stuff needs to be liquidated. This is one of the most stable businesses ever. So if you're gonna pick a niche where there's long-term profits, reselling is one of them. Okay, now, next is I consider reselling a career. Okay, this is massive. Because I always talk about the fact that I don't, I like jobs. I like people who get to the top 20% of their career field. Reselling is a career. There are a lot of different ways you can make money from reselling, not just flipping stuff. So once you have the skills of reselling, you can apply it to almost everything. My personal favorite model is a click and mortar. Okay, where you own a brick and mortar shop, but you use the leverage mainly in online business. I consider my storage unit kind of a click and mortar because I can meet people at the unit with specific goods, buy them on the spot, all the security is built in, it's awesome. Click and mortar, in my opinion, is one of the best models. So I really want people to think about different ways that you can make money reselling. If you become a top 20% reseller, I consider that a person that earns more than $1,000 a week reselling. Most people earn about $2,000 a month gross reselling. Okay, so it's mainly a side hustle for I would say 80% of people who do this. For the people who take it more seriously, you can earn $1,000 or more. You can even earn up to $10 million a week like store pharma packs, right? There's no limit. And the largest FBA seller in the world, who is pharma packs, or I'm sorry, the largest Amazon seller, they only have 10,000 SKUs. That's not that many. I personally have had over 8,000 SKUs before. As a one person team, with a few contractors. So it's not about how many items you have online, it's about how many good items you have online. The fact that the largest seller in the world only has 10,000 SKUs is kind of mind blowing because you could bust out 100 listings in a day by yourself. That means you could achieve that number of SKUs by yourself in one year, right? The problem is, are those the right SKUs? Are they replenishable? Can you reorder them? Obviously, you know, it, it's not, you're not gonna be able to find 100 of those for 100 days by yourself. You're going to need a big team to do that. But that just being said, it's all about quality of your listings and how often you can reorder them and the similarity of the listings from one to the next. Okay. Next is work as, work as focused as you can. This is huge. Um, the way that I am doing this is actually by process of elimination. I'm actually right now looking to get a tattoo that is going to remind me that I'm seeking less but better. And that's how I'm approaching new opportunities. An opportunity will come in, 
most of the time it's more but better meaning i could make more money if i do more things and equivalent would be i mean something a little bit better than that would be i can do the same amount of things and make um, a little bit more money but the best would be i can do less of something and earn more um, one example of that would be if I'm working with, right now I'm working with the manufacturer for shirts and suits, I'm gonna explain that uh, in more detail in future videos, but this is a concept where I'm partnering with a company. They are going to continue to come out with new products that I am going to market. I'm actually gonna earn more doing less work over time because once I set up the website, I don't have to keep making the website. I've already made it one time and somebody else is adding products into the company. That's what I mean by less but better. That being said, more but better is okay. And for most people, just doubling the amount of listings you put on the eBay is gonna double your income in most niches. Okay, if you're just selling one-off items that you randomly find that are really below market, that's totally fine. Doubling the amount of listings you have will usually double the amount of income that you make as long as the market demand stays the same. Okay, so eliminating stuff that sucks is awesome, but the main time suck is people who suck. I, I, used, I shouldn't use that word that much in one video, but seriously, a lot of people suck. As I just got married, as I am starting to get more successful in my business, I am just ruthlessly chopping people who suck out of my business. I'm not just unfriending them and unsubscribing from their feeds online. I'm literally blocking some people. There are people who send me stuff that actually, it's, it's less, and it's actually more stuff coming into my life that's less profitable. That is like poison. To your business get rid of that stuff get rid of people who are filling your brain with stuff that's less profitable and less that's worse that would be the considering more but worse would be the opposite of less but better so ruthlessly cut ties with people things in your life that don't bring you less but better okay next is who are you surrounding yourself with let's pick people who are high intelligence high energy and have great integrity integrity is a skill that's built over time in my opinion you can slowly learn exactly what it is that's valuable to the to society so for me how i look at this exactly is i think education should be not free but very very close to free and the reason why i think that is so many of my friends have 20 to 100 to 200 thousand dollars worth of student loan debt and that is ridiculous right it's really hard to climb out of that i have a friend with 277 thousand dollars worth of student loan debt the payment program is 18 years okay that is that gets me fired up because it's ridiculous that's so much money like he is in such a bad position because his education was so freaking expensive so for me do i talk negatively on the people who charge two thousand dollars for a course no i think that's that's probably too much for a course on reselling i think reselling courses should honestly be under 100 bucks because most of the the value of reselling is apprenticeship right you should be taking people who know how to resell already out to dinner pay them a couple hundred bucks an hour to teach you how to do something that's better it's hands-on you're actually doing it there was a lady who called me who hadn't listed anything in nine months she had just consumed every piece of reselling information from myself rally roots reezy resells rake and profit whoever they consumed all that information they even bought a couple of courses but didn't do anything so i'm like don't do that just start doing it pay me or someone else to just resell with you for a day or two or a week and then now you'll have that momentum you'll be able to continue doing it momentum is key and that all comes from just doing it apprenticeship is massive this is why trade schools are doing so well because you can just go in there basically uh, shadow a plumber for a day or a week or a month or three months and now you kind of have an idea of how to plumb right very straightforward okay so finally this is a plug for my reseller field guide um i do have it for sale it's 70 dollars with half off code youtube gets you 50 percent off which makes it 35 dollars that'll help me continue making stuff like this it takes me a long time to make this content for you guys so i really appreciate those who support me it's 35 bucks there's a link in the description below um that is with code youtube so i appreciate you guys hope everyone's having a great day like comment subscribe i'll see you guys next time take care